Hey guys, and welcome back to Xenoblade Chronicles. And uh, yeah, last time Ryan said some very choice words to Juju. And as a result, he's fled the refugee camp. And last time I checked, he don't got the Monado, he don't got Ryan as a meat shield, and he don't got whatever Charlotte does, because we still don't kind of know yet. So he's kind of screwed is what I'm getting at. So now we make a mad dash to try and find Juju, bring him back to the camp before Mechon bites his head off, as Shulk's already had a vision of, among other things, but we'll get to that a little bit later. For right now, we gotta go back to Gower Plains, which means we gotta hear this music again. I ain't complain. Shoo. Shola, do you know which way Juju went? There are quite a few ways to get there from here, but he's in a buggy, so I think he'll take Ragwell Bridge. Ragwell Bridge? It's not far. It's a really old bridge, built around the time Colony 9 was founded. Okay. Let's make that our next stop. Sounds like a plan. Shala, you stay back. Leave any monsters up to me and Shulk. Uh, what? You think I can't pull my weight in battle? I've got field experience as a medic. If you get hurt, I can use ether to patch you up. Nice. I'm always getting roughed up. You'll be a big help. Come on! Who put this barrier in the way? Oh, now the front suspension's all twisted up. Looks like I'll have to walk it. They're all cowards! I'll show them all. Shoot me, Charla! Shoot me square in the noggin! Preferably with a healing bullet. So, Charla is the medic of the group, and play as her for a little bit, because I got a lot to say about this character in particular. However, we should probably also gem some of her equipment. Ether up is pretty much going to be her best stat for a while because, well, she uses ether for all of her arts, and let's, yeah, give her that. Kind of reminds me of somebody though, huh? Yeah, let's hide that. Just, you know, have a more vanilla appearance. We'll be giving her better armor in the future, but... I kind of just want to play as everybody so you have a general idea of how they operate, and really, Xenoblade Chronicles is the type of game where if you understand what your party members can and can't do, you're going to have a lot more fun, but as we take on this flying enemy, you will see that Thunder Bullet does effective damage against flying monsters, which you'd be surprised how many there are, and unlike Rhine and Shulk, she can attack from far away with her rifle. However. That's pretty much the end of it. Her talent art is really, really not fun. God dang it, the fight's already over. You know, Shulk can use the Monado for his talent art. Ryan can generate aggro, which is very important. Charlotte just cools off. And that's not really super fun, as we probably should put Sword Drive back on. What do I... I want Guard... Why did that get back on? Did I do that? What the... Let's fix that real quick. I'm a big fan of doing as much damage as possible so fights don't go on forever, but speaking of fights, let's try that again on a non-flying enemy, and you'll see that, yeah, Sherla's not really about the damage. She's more of a healer support role. If you ever played a... God dang it, the second I put that wolf to sleep, he breaks the AoE. Ugh, that's annoying, but... If you've ever played a healer in an MMORPG, she's very reminiscent to that, but most healers in those types of games can also do damage. Sharla can with the right amount of work and setup, but really, she's best controlled by the AI. The AI does okay with Sharla, so I won't be playing as her too much, especially in this episode because we got some pretty annoying fights to take care of. And I say annoying, I usually mean Mechon, because as you know, Mechon can't be damage with normal weapons, but it's a shame, honestly, because I like Sharla as a character, but seriously, playing as the other characters in the game, and god dang it, is it raining already? Wow, that is unfortunate. Uh, there are some enemies that spawn only during the rainstorm, and I don't want to see that crap, so I'm going to quickly swap back to Shulk because, well, frankly, he's just more fun to play as, and change the time. There we go. Clear blue skies just the way I like it, but uh, yeah, later on we'll need it to be raining to complete some side quests. That's in the future though. For now, 
I also want to be playing as Shulk so we can do maximum damage per second. We're going to have some pretty tough fights in this episode, and come to think of it, I should probably kill one more of these Volk for the side quest that we need to do. Charlotte, there's just not a lot to talk about, and she doesn't start with great arts either. It's such a shame, but don't worry. She'll get her time in the sun eventually as we complete another quest. Wait, what? No, don't do that. Don't. Oh, jump! Jesus! Oh, okay, that's bad. Um, don't fight the fly. Freaking run! Run! Oh my god. Uh, Charla! No! Oh. <laughs> yeah, that's more HP than she can even have. All right, we gotta go! Sometimes running is the best option. That now is one of those times. God, I was wondering when this would occur in our playthrough. I can't believe it took this long, actually, but... Yeah, that Armu ain't that scary. We just, uh... Literally can't stand a chance against him. Up ahead, though, this is another chance for Charlotte to shine, so we're gonna swap back to her. Sorry, Ryan, we'll play as you eventually. I really want to talk about her. Her art, Tranquilizer, affects Mechon, and there's gonna be a lot of Mechon ahead that actually attract other enemies. So, we can put it to sleep, get closer, try and set up the Monado Enchant. Thanks for that, Shulk. Get the break topple combo going, and this scout won't be able to alert the rest of the group minimizing the chance that we get overwhelmed by Mechon. Even though I feel like I'm pretty good at this game, if we fight too many Mechon at once, we could still get absolutely destroyed. And there's a lot of these scouts up ahead, so let's put them to sleep and keep trying to do the same thing. You kind of want to hold out and get your maximum amount on the Tranquilizer, because... Oh, god dang. Oh, there we go. Never mind. <laughs> Basically, there's still the travel time for Ryan and Shulk to get to the foe you're hitting. Or, alternatively, you can just run away from it. It's a very viable strategy to just tranquilize something or run past it. Unfortunately, a lot of enemies in this game don't, like, take tranquilizer, and it's really strange. So, it's a little bit of a risky skill to do this, but I might as well show it off. Let's flee! Why'd you waste enchant? God dang it, Shulk and just run away out of its aggro range. The Mechon will totally forget we even exist. And even in Definitive Division, you can see how long your Tranquilizers last for. Kinda nice. A very underrated skill, which I try to use whenever I can, and I'm just trying to speed run stuff, but... We got a... Did Shulk just jump off? Jesus. Oh, <laughs> that was loud. We got a pretty big pull up here. If you've played MMOs, that's gonna be using a lot of terminology, because Xenoblade reminds me of the combat system, but... We're gonna take on this scout unit, which... Oh god, there's another scout. Friggin' okay, we got a lot of fighting to do. First things first, we need Monado Chant. Uh, always, always prioritize Enchant in every- Oh my god, this is gonna be a lot of dudes. Okay, let's do Stream Edge, hit all of them. Ryan was really not supposed to do that, but if we can get our talent gauge up, god dang it, both of us are toppled. Yeah, that Mechon who's really tall likes to do that. Let's get re -aggro. Oh my god, where, is this the episode where I die? There's a lot of guys. Uh, we'll see. Hopefully I can line up this buster. Ooh, that was perfect. Charlotte's dead, though. That's not good. Hopefully we can generate enough. Oh, God. I don't know about this. We should be able to generate another bar of the party gauge with... Yeah. Oh, no, no. Oh, we didn't get it. But we got a continuation. Come on. Yes. There we go. This is what I was trying to do. Generate... I mean, that was RNG-based, but it worked out. Whatever. Friggin'! Yeah! Things don't always go according to plan! I need focus here. Yeah. I missed it. <laughs> Making some very strange noises today. But we stabilized a little bit. Sharla, I need to probably encourage, but I'm a little busy at the moment. This fight did not go away. I wanted it to. Did I just say, I sure hope we don't get overwhelmed? That totally happened. God, my, my light heal is nothing compared to Sharla, though. She's doing a great job of keeping us alive. Even if it's not readily apparent. Her positioning could use some work, though. She's, like, right in the middle of it. But after that Monado Buster, we can do another chain attack. That guy's asleep. I don't freaking care. He's really weak. Just hit him a couple more times. Ryan is using Lock-On on the wrong guy. That ain't good. We need to use Monado and Chance again because the buff ran out. I wasn't paying attention to that, but it'll be a... What? Huh? Excuse me. What? What? <laughs> 73? Okay, we'll just chain attack it. I'm sorry. Okay, so, um, another thing I mentioned about Sharla is sometimes she can't even chain attack if her rifle is overheating, which 
you take care of with a talent gauge. The AI doesn't do the best job of managing that, I'd like to mention, but it's still not the end of the world. Just make sure when you're getting ready for a chain attack, there's, a there's like strips of light pointing to everybody. You should be okay. I'm not gonna lie, y'all. I'm kind of sweating. I can't believe we did that. And we couldn't have done so well without Charlotte's sustained heals, given the level that we are. But uh, in the future, you'll see, okay? You'll see. Charlotte's great for really tough fights, but sadly in Xenoblade Chronicles, there's not a lot of those to be had. But we survived, and we made it to Ragwell Bridge. Hey, Charlotte, look. It's Juju's buggy. <gasps> what? What is that thing? Juju! What is it? It's Juju! Shulk, is he okay? Uh, uh, Tell me! There's a mech on! It's taken Juju! Oh. When? I'm... I'm not sure, but I don't think we've got much time. Um, you said you saw a deep valley, didn't you? Yes. Oh, there's a place like that just up ahead. And it's even on the way to Colony 6. That must be the route Juju's taking. You sure? No other deep valleys around here? Not as far as I know. Well, Shulk, let's move. That has to be where Juju is. Well, thanks to Shulk's vision, we are on the right path again. Shulk's really, really helpful in this game. Don't know if you could tell, but a little thing I want to talk about right now is the elevation on the Bionis leg, right? It actually does gradually increase as we head up to the upper portions, but yeah, Juju's kind of hard. What the frick? Oh, okay. That's the third moth crawler. Me and Ryan used to play with these. Okay. Anyways, back as I was <laughs> sorry, that just kind of took me off guard. Juju's kind of metal, okay? He, he's walking on foot all the way to Colony 6. I know it's kind of stupid, but only armed with a rifle, as we saw in that vision. I mean, give him credit. He may be stupid. He kind of brave, too. Is Juju secretly the best character in the game? <laughs> I'll let you be the judge. Okay, I'm just, I'm just joking. Don't get mad. Jesus. Is this the place you were on about? This is it, all right. At the end of the road, there's a path to Colony 6. But there's no sign of Juju. If my vision was right, he should be around here somewhere. I'm sure he would have gone along this road. I just hope nothing's happened to him yet. Any chance he went up that way? It's not safe around here. I doubt Juju would go off the beaten track if he could avoid it. Got it. We'll search along the road. So once again, we get a good look at how well Sharla knows her brother. Even though he kind of be dummy sometimes, he's not too dummy to not take Magwill Road. Yeah, there's a lot of mech on up ahead. And I'll be honest, I kind of don't want to find them because the M64s in particular are a great video game home console. No, that's an N64. <laughs> Sorry, I couldn't resist. There's a lot of these mech on, and I'll be honest, if I fight all of these guys, we're gonna be insanely overleveled for the bosses in- oh gosh, that was close. The boss in this episode. So I kinda don't wanna do that. You could more than welcome to, but I kinda wanna have at least a challenge in the early game. You'll see what I'm talking about as we- <laughs> a fire tarantula. Okay. Would that not catch the entire planes on fire? Maybe it's just brightly colored could actually look and tell, but F that, because we gotta get Juju, no matter what, as we come to the upper portion of the Bionis leg, which has a whole lot of stuff to check out, and gosh, we are going to do that. The millisecond we protect Juju, 
from harm. I realize this has been a walking simulator episode, but for good reason, dude. There's a lot to ground to cover. But we're almost there. Hope you're ready. There's a pretty tough boss fight coming up soon. Juju! Juju! Hold on! I'm coming! Wait! Shut up! Another new symbols appeared on the Monado. Can I save her? Of course you can. Tentacles could come out from under the ground at any second. One false move and you're done for. Wait for my order. Ryan, you got my back? Of course. Leave it to me. the Monado. That's right. And the light swirling around us. That's the Monado and all. Shala, let's move. All right. Shulk learned a new art. This time, speed, which for a brief amount of time will let you dodge all physical attacks. However, we don't need that right now. Instead, we need to just focus down these Mechon tentacles and leave M71 for last. This is generally how fights should go in Xenoblade Chronicles. If there's weaker enemies surrounding the big enemy, just knock that one down first. I know it can be a little tricky to understand that, given, you know, there's not actual health numbers on the opponents, but if you just kind of have a general understanding of how role playing games go, I think you'll be fine. The tentacles do not have nearly as much. HP as the sensor mech on, so just really wail on them until they're done for. And oh my god, Ryan is getting low. Charlotte, hook him up with some heals. Thank you kindly. Now, for the rest of this encounter, we want to save the party gauge. We do not want to burn it. It is kind of tricky sometimes because, god dang it, Ryan is really close to dying. Jesus, even though his armor is really, really strong for this point in the game, we're kind of struggling here. I could use Monado. Yeah, I'm going to do it. Monado speed to help Ryan just dodge whatever damage he can he got oh oh no maybe i'm the one that needs the guide we're dazed and uh shulk is low hp ryan's even more low hp but he takes priority because he's eating all the damage we really need to get enchant back up because everybody's just doing one damage at the moment come on please we're getting to really really dangerous levels enchant coming out okay Please just do not die, Ryan. How is he still alive? Oh my god. I'm ready to revive him if anything happens, but... Yeah, he's gonna die. Yeah, there he goes. Okay. I was hoping that wouldn't happen to happen. So we're starting the next phase with not an optimal setup, but I think we'll be okay. Is he down? Get back here! It's up there! Let's go after it! Right! Okay, so round one didn't really go according to plan. Let's try and do better in round two as we venture up this structure. 
M71 will be full healed, and now we'll have access to a lot of new deadly arts. Fire shot, which it had access to before, does a DOT, and currently we have no way to block ether damage, which is really kind of a pain, but Charlotte can heal us through it. As well as our light heal, which is <laughs> like putting a band-aid on a stick and I don't know, I guess giant flamethrower shot, but in this fight, M71 has a lot of physical arts like right there, rapid tentacle. If you use Monado speed fast enough, you can actually fully make Ryan dodge this. Assuming Ryan's actually keeping the aggro, which currently he's not doing because Shulk's doing a ton of damage, but let's try and topple this opponent and work from there. If we got a follow up, that'd be great. I, yeah, I should probably actually heal. Charlotte's not doing amazing damage right now, so I think that's the better play. So. M71 finally toppled. Now, hopefully, we can get the advantage in the fight and just, I don't know, do some good damage for once. Jeez. It'll be a while before I get Buster, though. Uh, the topple didn't really last too long. Well, that sucked. Maybe it would have been better to go for Red Arts, but generally, in this fight, just manage your healing and, oh my god. Ryan, chill. <laughs> you gotta do some. No, god dang it. This is not going my way. We need enchant up at all times. This is why fighting mech on is so terrifying. The fights can not can escalate very, very quickly. We're only at half HP too, but everyone's healthy. We're still not to the awakened phase yet. But more tentacle attacks. That's over half his HP bar. Wow. Just one one move. That's rough. We can no crap. That was a misclick. Oh no, he's back up. Okay, cool. I was about to say. <laughs> Monado speed doesn't really help you if you're dazed, but unfortunately, Tranquilizer are not doing a lot. Oh my god, we're doing great damage with our positionals, though. Rapid. Oh god. I just saw Ryan's HP. I know this has been a lot of holy crow, Ryan's low, but no, seriously, even with all the defense gems we gave him, he's not doing great. What's. Oh. That was another misclick. Jesus, what is wrong with me today? We're building out the party gauge, though, because of our positionals, but. No. Okay, we're fine. Jesus. <laughs> it's a little comment. It's a little tough to commentate when you're thinking on the fly. Here comes a vision. It's a physical art because it has the red text. Yeah, that'll do it. So if we got enough time. Oh, God. I don't, I don't know if I can build up the party gauge fast enough. No, Charlotte did. Oh, crap. Charlotte's going to F and die for like the 30th time this episode. F that. I'm doing a chain attack. We have <laughs> basically one shot at doing this. If we get a follow-up with our chain attack, it should be enough damage to finish it off. I'm I'm gonna play risky and go for damage here, please. Yes! We got it! Awesome! Now No, Monado Buster. I was about to back attack and really screw us. Okay. Buster should do amazing damage because the Yes! Oh my god! And then what do we do? Uh we can in yeah. We'll use engage to make sure M71 is focused on Ryan. We kinda have to fodder him off though. We need to quickly build up uh Another party gauge, because I'm pretty sure Ryan is going to die from this. Yeah, we got it now. Just a little bit more. I'm just art spamming at this point. We need all the damage we can get. Not a chance off, and oh my god. We, I'm not coming this close. We got to do this. When it uses generate power, that's its awakening, and god dang. Here comes some more deadly arts, including ripple laser. However, this has the white text, which means we can negate it with a Monado shield, which... I just happen to have right here. Get wrecked, you stupid mech on. I'm not gonna lie. This is supposed to be an easy battle. I hope this isn't a, a vision of the future, so to speak. <laughs> we'll completely block that. A couple more arts, and we're done. Juju, are you all right? Sh Shala, I'm sorry. I'm so glad you're okay. Hey, looks like we changed the future. What's up? Well, it's just that that can't have been the mech on from my vision. Yeah, weren't it supposed to be that one with the face? I guess we changed more than we expected. Shulk? No. Something's not right. Uh! 
<gasps> Juju! No! It's not him at all! But this one's got a face and all! I've been waiting for you, Monado boy. What? It spoke! Wait, metal face scarpers. I thought you'd have to be this big scary monster. But look, you're just a pathetic little kid. That's right, there's other faced mech on. This mysterious face is our next foe, and right off the bat, yeah! Here comes the skill, swing beat, if we get Monado's speed off in time, we can break that vision and go for the counterattack. However, to get our talent gauge up, we actually have to hit this guy, and that's not really an option. Uh, this is going to take a while. Uh, in case you weren't aware, we have to lose this fight. We can't hit him, we can't inflict topple, we can't even get a chain attack going because of the way our tension is at the moment. However, we can get some heart-to-heart -heart going, so that's good. I guess, but I'm going to intentionally just fail every burst tension because seriously, there's no way you can beat this guy. For the fourth time this episode, Charlotte's going to get one shot. We could warn her, I guess, to try and tranquilize her. That's so mean. It's, it's not going to work. I'm a monster. All we can really do is just wait for the clock to tick down and yeah, I'm, I don't feel good about that, but what can we do? This guy's seriously just so strong. This is what happens when you fight a red plate opponent. You can't touch them just because their agility is so high. Heck, even if we were level 25, we still can't topple him because of the aura around him. And yeah, this is how this fight's going to go. We just have to wait for Wild Crash to connect. As we are now, we just stand no chance against these face mech on. But I can still see what it's going to do. Just like before. Nice tricks you got there, Pit Squeak. Darting around the place. That's the Monado's power. Won't matter, you're still flesh and blood, and I reckon you're nearly done. Behind you! Shook! Leave this to me! Don't take him out! Yeah. Got it! Now! Right! It's just bouncing off him! That was fun for a while! But now I'm bored! If you want him back, you better come to Colony 6. But you'll have to be quick. I'm feeling hungry. You! You're gonna pay! <laughs> I can't wait to grind you all into dust! Shala! Shala! No! Oh, 
rescued you. 